Hey, what's up, Pokemosh Pit Beta? My name is Maximo. If you guys don't know me, now you guys do. So, here's the lineup for this UU battle I'm bringing you guys here today. I'm using my ace team, and he's using a kind of weird team. I don't, I, I'm, I'm facing this guy at the Smogon server. He's, uh, it's a tournament match, and I'm guessing, okay, this guy has a semi-offensive team, or I don't know what he's planning here. So, let's just get on with it, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm leading off with my Rotom C. He leads off with his Heracross. I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch, you know, see what he's see see what that Heracross has. I wanna see what he was gonna do. He has a Mega Horn, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. So he switches out and he switches to his Raikou, and I go with a Toxic here, predicting a switch out. So I was hoping he didn't switch out to his Bisharp, and he goes with the Thunderbolt, does 55%, and uh, I go with the gyro ball before you guys jump on me on the gyro ball. I have no idea why I went there. I think I was it was it was the middle of the night, so don't don't uh don't shit talk me. I should say he goes for another thunderbolt. I go with earthquake, and I can't believe I got crit and uh, finished him off. So I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Raikou's out of the way. Uh, he's a pain in the ass later, late uh, late game. He goes with the sucker punch with by sharp. I go with Rotom C. And I'm about to go Volt Switch, but he predicts that and he switches to Flygon. And I'm like, well, damn. F you, Flygon. I switch out and I go with my Quillfish with the Intimidate, uh, lowering, lowering the attack of this Flygon. He goes for the Stone Edge, and I'm like, that's nothing. But then he goes for the Earthquake, and I'm like, damn, dude, I didn't see that coming. I was just retarded. And again, guys, this is the middle of the night, and I'm like thinking, I'm not thinking my full mindset here. I go back with my Rotom C, he goes with his Bite Sharp, I go for the infamous trick. So now he has a Choice Scarf and I have the leftovers. So I'm like, hell yeah. I switch out to my Porygon 2. He does the Sucker Punch and fails. And uh, he switches out to his Heracross. I'm like, oh, that's cool with me. I go with Discharge and do a, a decent amount of damage. He goes with Earthquake, does nothing to me. I go with that Tri Attack, crit him again, and finish him off. So now the game, the, I should say the battle is tied up. He goes with his Dust Clops, and this Dust Clops is a bitch. Usually, you you Dust Clops are really a bitch. So he goes with the Will O' Wisp, burns me, and I'm like, oh crap, oh, it's whatever. I go with the uh, no discharge, and I get another crit. You guys, you guys noticing something here? It was like a crit match. To, uh, like this is it's crazy for me. I'm like, the crit gods are with me. So I go with the discharge. He goes with the substitute, and he goes with the seismetic toss. This burn is killing me, and I go recover. I'm like, I'm not gonna die just yet. I want to get you to below 20% at least before I go away. And I go for another discharge. He goes for the seismetic toss again, and I'm burning up right here. So I go for another discharge, get him under 22%. He goes for the substitute, but you need 25% or more for that substitute, so he doesn't manage to get it. I go with my chandelier. Choice Bandit Chandelier, by the way. I go with the Shadow Ball and finish him off. Another crit, by the way, guys. That's crazy. So I switch out, predicting that Sucker Punch coming. I go with my Rotom C, and it does come, but it fails. He switches to his Shaman, and that's cool. I go with Volt Switch, and let's see who I go with. Ah, I go with my Chandelier again. And he goes with his Flygon, and I go with Fire Blast. And look how much damage this does. Holy shit, I'm more than 80% and I burn his ass. Look at that. So I'm like, hell yeah, I'm predicting an earthquake here. I go back with my Rotom C. He goes earthquake. I'm immune to that shit, bitch. And he gets burned. And I'm like laughing so hard right now because he's complaining in the other chat. If I showed you guys, he'd be like, what the hell? He was like, well, how the hell did he... I think that won, uh, won me the battle, by the way, guys. So he goes back with the Shaman. And he goes hidden power. I'm guessing he has hidden power of fire. And he has that life orb, so that's why he did so much damage. I go hit in power of ice. I do a good amount of damage as well. He finishes me off with a leaf storm. I'm thinking, what the hell is he thinking? Why would he go leaf storm? Okay, lower your special attack. That's cool with me. And I go my chandelier. He goes rest, and I'm like, dude, that's not gonna do nothing. I go fire blast, finish him off. I love my chandelier. He's a uh, he's a beast. He switches to his last pokey and he goes with Bite Sharp. I go, he goes Sucker Punch and crits me, and I'm like, crap. So I go with my Crocodile. He's my late sweeper, and I finish him off with this Mega Earthquake. And that's it, guys. That concludes it. Thank you guys for watching. Make, make sure to like this video. Check out my channel for a Pokemon Black and White 2 giveaway and more battles. Please subscribe to Pokemon Spit Beta. Peace.